everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some fun, easy tips to make your yard or garage sale super successful and super fun and make some money while cleaning out those closets. So the obvious first tip is to promote, promote, promote. Gone are the days when you just had to put an ad in your local newspaper. Now there are Facebook garage sales, um, like groups where you can post if you're having a yard sale or see other people that are doing it. Neighborhood Facebook groups or apps, um, Instagram, stories, Facebook, your own page. Just promoting it any way you can, creating an event. Um, for example, our sale was really a studio sale for our business. I'm a wedding. Um, an event florist so every year we have a yard sale where we get rid of a bunch of vases and decorations and all that kind of stuff so we promote it on every channel and another fun way to promote is to ask someone else to join in because then you're doubling your reach so if you have a friend um, who also wants to team up and get rid of some crap then um, invite them in and have them come and bring their stuff and they can use different colored stickers to prize so you know exactly whose items are whose and then they can share on their channels as well and make it widespread and known that you guys are having a sale. The next tip is to organize items for sale by category. This could be things like home decor, sports equipment, clothing, girls clothing and guys clothing, all these different things you can kind of create like a little department store so people that are looking for one category of things can raid that whole inventory and hopefully go out buying more stuff than if it was just randomly scattered about. It can also be helpful to group tiny little things into bins by prices like a 25 cent bin or we even had a free bin where people could just root through and it's stuff that was not even worth selling but we wanted to get rid of. Um, so things like that can also be an incentive for people to leave with more stuff. Next up, use a washi tape and a sharpie to add prices instead of those cheap, colorful little circle stickers. Washi tape is going to come off so much easier than the stickers and your customers will love you for it. Make it pretty. This is a tip that might sound really weird and like a waste of time, but I'm telling you, if you can lay out things kind of like they would in a store by color and sort of really pretty on shelves and tables and you know, setting out furniture to where it looks like it's styled, people will envision it more, they'll, draw, they'll gravitate towards it more, and more likely they'll end up buying more. Create a packing station. This is just a great idea for convenience. We piled cardboard boxes, stuffing, um, paper grocery bags, plastic grocery bags, any plastic bins we wanted to get rid of, and made a packing station where people could pack up their stuff so they didn't have to carry it all out in their arms. Make it easy on yourself and get a credit card swipe like the Square app or the PayPal. Uh, PayPal I know also has a swipe um, thing that you plug into your phone and you can take credit cards and it puts it right into your bank account. It does take out a small fee like two or three percent of the total but it makes it so much easier because a lot of people don't come with cash or enough cash or exact change or whatever. So uh, when we did our yard sale I went to the bank and got about 15 to 20 dollars and change you know like some five some one some quarters everything that we priced was priced um with the quarter like a quarter ending 25 50 75 cents so that makes it really easy you don't need to be dealing with 85 cent things with nickels or dimes or pennies um but you know that way you have some cash if someone comes and wants to um, exchange physical money, but you could also just swipe. It makes it really easy. You can get passers-by on the street that maybe weren't expecting to hit a garage sale. They didn't come there on purpose to see what you have for sale, but they walked by and they were interested. They just swipe that card and it gives them a receipt and they sign it and everything and it auto deposits into your bank account because it's 2018 and we can all accept credit cards now. 
my last tip is don't let that stuff back in your house. You got it out, you put through the you went through the effort of pricing it and putting it out on display and letting people look at it. Don't let it back in your home. Just put it all into a box. Occasionally, if something didn't sell that I consider to be high value, I will keep it to try and sell it online or sell it at a later date. But in general, I wanna put all that stuff into a box and donate it. The Salvation Army is really great. If you have local places in your town, like a women's shelter or um, you know um, children's hospitals or nursing homes or anything where they accept donations, you know, good uh, things that are in good shape, like books or clothing, um, or anything like that, check out and just don't let it back in your home. If it has a value at all, let someone else reap the value of that item without you having to clutter up your home again because the goal is to have a fresh, clean start. So don't let it back in your house. And there you have it. Those are my tips for having a super successful, yet fun, yet profitable yard sale and really getting some attention and making it easy on yourself and easy um, on the people that wanna come by. If you have any other tips that I missed or any other advice for my next yard sale, leave it in the comments below because I would definitely like to keep adding to this list. Garage sales are fun, but they can be a lot of work. So any hacks that we have to make it easier on each other, um, I'm all about it. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, I make uh, DIYs for your house, for holidays, for parties, random colorful stuff, and I hope that you'll stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye.